hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video I am going to talk about my project so I am going to talk about my college management system project so this is going to be C sharp project step by step guide so first as you can see if I go to my form 1 I can see my uh, login so you know how to create a login I have made a video on how to create login form using C sharp how to create a simple login form using C sharp and you already know how to design so first you will take a just right click on the project and add new item you will select form and then you can type a login then you are going to click on add and once you click on add you are going to see a form so design the form and give username and password then a login button after giving the login button just double click on the button this will take you to the code and you can see if uh, textbox one dot text equals to empty and textbox two dot text equals to empty then it is going to show me please enter username and password else if textbox one dot text equals to admin then textbox two dot te text equals to one to three then it is going to show me the main form if uh, username is admin and password is one to three then it is going to show me the main form else please enter correct details so if username and password is incorrect then it will show please enter correct details ok so how to create the main form so if i go to the main i have already created main main dot this is the main so you will just click on project same thing add new item then click on form and you will type here main dot cs and then you click on add and you already know how to design first you will take a panel and you will change the dock to top you just click on this and top same thing here take a panel and click on dock dock and select this and these are the buttons you can see button 1 button 2 3 and 5 so in college management system we have student course teacher fees and also we have a dashboard so now the first thing we have to create is the student form so we need to add another form so we'll just add form like this select form and you will select and you will just type as student student and you'll click on add once you click on add, add this will create your, uh, give you the form so if I go to my student design you can see I have already created a student form you can give anything you want over here student information or student admission and you can see the label and text box so you already know how to design first you will take label and change font color if you want you can change the font increase size and these are buttons and you have to take a data grid view just, you just click on toolbox and search a data 
Ligue. Okay. You can also take a panel if you want. And you can select the tag view and auto column mode fill. You just select fill and select the font and start position and the speed. Okay. Now double click on the button and in the top uh, you have to mention this using system.data.sql client and also you need to install the uh, nuget packet manager then nuget package is for solution you need to install this system.data.sql you need to install this just select and you will select the project and you will just click on install so I have already insta installed so I don't need to and you will just click on install ok now you can see this is the button code for save if you go to the student design just double click on the button this will take you to the port and you can see we have a save this is how to save uh, record so first you need to mention the SQL connection con equals to new SQL connection then bracket close data source and how do you find this how you are going to find this you have to go to your uh, SQL server manual studio So I will give my password and connect. So I have already created a database. So you know how to create database. You just right click and then new database. And once you give a database name and once you click on OK, the database will be created. So I have already created database called SDB. So I'll just click on file then select connect object explorer and I'll copy the server name just copy the server name and go to your visual studio and you can see data connections just right click and then add connection and you can see server name just paste the server name and you can see it is asking me for a database name just type it college db and then test connection and you can see test connection succeeded ok so just select this and you can see connection string just copy the you will just copy the data source from here and paste into here data source and you have to mention sql comma c and equals to sql new sql comma insert into student name values and you have to mention the columns so you can see student id student name age email address degree so if you go to student design you can see we have the fields uh, student id student name age email address degree and then go to student.cs now how did i find the how to create the table so you can see insert into student tab so, so, so student tab is the table so now if you click on the uh, this one desktop you can see tables and if you click on the arrow you can see uh, we have uh, tables so I have already created tables how you can create table and you, you know how to create tables right? 
you just right click then add new table then then you will create a table you will mention the table name over here and you will mention id name in it so i have already created table so you can see student tab student tab just right click and then open table definition and you can see student id student name age email address and degree if you go to your student design you can see the student id name age email address degree so student id will be integer and it will be primary key student name will be worker age integer email worker and address db will be worker and don't forget to mention the table name you just click here and you, you can type anything if you want you have to mention the table name after that you will click on update then you will save all ok now for insert just double click on the insert button and this will take you to the code and you will just uh, copy the connection and, and open the connection just copy this and paste and then SQL command CNN equals to new SQL command select all from student tab you have to mention the table name student tab then go to your design and double click on the update and you will just copy this and paste here and you have to change update student tab set student name age email then degree where student id equals to student id you have to mention the uh, table name and you have to mention this same thing for delete this is the delete code and how to get to the student load so we now go to the design and just click on the form double click on the form and this will take you to the student load or form load and you have to just copy the insert code and paste into the form load so let's uh, try to run the program go to your program can see we have form 1 so form 1 is the login this is just a simple login you can create login with the uh, SQL database so if I have time I will show you a video on how to create login with SQL database so if you go to your program.cs so we have form 1 now if I start So once I start the program, I can see my uh, login. So if I give, so if I just click on login, it is asking me please enter username and password. Okay. And if I enter wrong username and password, please enter correct details. So I'll, the username is admin and the password is on one to three. So once I click on login, it is taking me to the main system. So if I click on student, so it is, the, uh, it is bringing me the student form. So how to bring the student? If you go to your main main form, so main form, 
you can see we have the button for student just double click on the button double click on the button and you can see student st equals to new student st dot show semicolon if you put this and this will bring you the form Let's try to insert some value. It's four. And if I click on save, it is saying me record saved successfully. Okay. Then click on insert and it is inserted. You can see it is saved in the data view. And if, if you want, you can update or delete. So if you want the full project, you can watch my video on college management system. Okay, now for course. So nothing new for the course, it's just the same process. You will just right click on project, add new item. <coughs> you just select form and you will mention course here and once you click on add this is going to bring you the form so if I click on the course I can see the my form table text box button and if you double click on the button for save this will take you to the save code now uh, just go to your student.cs you will just uh, copy and paste you don't need to put code here this we have already done with the student just you just copy this copy the save code and go to your course.cs and paste here and you need to change the course id student name course if you go to your design we have course id student name and course you need to change course id student name course okay We have uh, taken course ID student name and course, so make sure you you need to mention over here. And same thing for insert. Just you'll just change the table name. Here will be user tab, and you need to create a table. You can see. I have created table uh, user tab and we have a course ID then student name and course this will be same just like in the design we have taken course ID student name and course just make sure to mention this all in the table for insert just mention the table name and same thing for update and delete so now you know how to create form tables and insert code and I, I hope you can do the rest of the part teacher piece and dashboard same thing for teacher you just add form then design then add all the you can see if I click on course I can see my course ID student name course and I can perform crude operations 
save instead of a delete and same thing for teacher and I have created a simple dashboard you can see I have a table then admin panel image and over here you can see students courses so number of students we have four and number of courses we have four and here I have included a chart of student marks and you can see the student with the highest mark is Harry then Tom then Sarah so you can watch my video on you can watch the full project video college management system then you will get more idea so thank you for watching and if you have any questions let me know if you face any errors or problems